everybody, Nick Fershaw here for MLSsoccer.com. We're in Sao Paulo ahead of the big opener for the World Cup. It's Brazil and Croatia on Thursday, and it's out at Arena Corinthians, which is the biggest stadium in Sao Paulo. Now, there's been a lot of issues with this stadium and the metro transport just to get there. So, with one day left before the opener, we decided to take the train over to the stadium and see where they stand less than 24 hours before the kickoff. Let's go. So after about 45 minutes on a sweaty train, it felt like uh, New York City actually. Uh, we're at the end of the line on the red line. It's Arena Corinthians. That's the most important stop on this line considering they're gonna play the World Cup opener here on Thursday. Now, there wasn't a strike today, but there could be a strike on the Metro on Thursday, which can mean a big deal for a lot of the fans trying to get out here using public transportation. Just one of a number of issues with this stadium. the gates here at Arena Corinthians and a lot of people have come here even the night before the game just to celebrate and take a look around and really examine this stadium and well they should because it's been a long road to get here to get this stadium ready for the World Cup opener on Thursday. As recently as last week there were a number of concerns about the construction and whether things would be finished. Little things like are the elevators going to the right floor? Are there leaks in the sprinkler system? The temporary stands. There's going to be two 10,000 seat temporary stance for this uh, stadium on Thursday. Things should work out hopefully there. Now, they tried this out the other day, about 38,000 people showed up for a Corinthians match over the weekend. That's the local club team here, but they haven't filled this place up to capacity. They're expecting 65,000 or more for this game on Thursday. They haven't filled this stadium to that many people. So there's still a lot of questions to be answered. And aesthetically from the outside, you can see there's still a lot of construction going on. They need a little bit more exterior lighting outside of the facility. And you see a lot of scaffolding, a lot of staircases, and a lot of the aesthetics in terms of the grass and the construction. They're just not quite done. But, considering all these people showed up here, it's not ruining the celebration. A lot of people are very, very excited about this game. Obviously, a lot of pressure on Brazil to do well, and it's all going to go down right here. And these people come here to celebrate the World Cup, hosting it in their city, and really revel in a party that's going to begin on Thursday when Brazil takes on Croatia. It's on ESPN. Check that game out. Myself and Andrew Wiebe will be here for this game, so some coverage from that game, some sights and sounds, and complete coverage of the World Cup on MLSsoccer.com.